until the word of God that you have heard, until it leaves your human spirit with all of the character of God. It doesn't matter how many times you've heard it. If that word has not left your human spirit with all of the character of God, if it has not given your mind the culture of truth, you should not cease to meditate it. You should not cease to hear it. And do not forget this. Until faith has achieved its highest objective, you must not stop to feed your faith. And to feed your faith, you will have to keep hearing the truth again and again. Faith comes by hearing. The more you hear it, the more you understand it. The more you understand it, the more the faith that's born on your inside. There are different types of faith. There is weak faith and there is strong faith. There is little faith and there is great faith. You see, the kind of faith you exhibit depends on your understanding of the formation at your disposal. A truth that hasn't given the culture of truth to your mind should not be archived, should not be kept aside. So, this is what you have to learn to do right now. Learn to crave a truth that you heard that has not shaped your spirit. Learn to crave it. The Bible tells us, Blessed are those that hunger and thirst, for they shall be filled. How much God satisfies you depends on how much you hunger for the truth. So, never set the truth aside because you've heard it before. There are those who have read the Bible many times, they keep reading it. You know why? The word of God is that manner that's ever fresh. It never grows stale. And you see, the amount of revelation you have of the word of God is what determines the kind of life you live. We have been called to rest. Our rest is tied to our revelation until a truth has formed the revelation. A revelation that has become a consciousness. You don't stop to listen to it. And so I challenge you to learn the word. You, you are supposed to hear the word of God, a message again and again until you start living out the message. Because we become what we hear through practice. As if we have not become what we've heard, then we have to go back to hear it again until we become what we hear. And so let's, let's, let's become hungry for a truth until it forms the character of the spirit until it brings us to an environment of truth where we can't live without it. Make that a habit for yourself. It's a choice you have to make. It's a choice you have to make. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, LPN and his children are an idea that you can't stop. Because if, if the purpose cannot be stopped, there has to be an idea to, 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 to prevent it from being stopped. There has to be an idea. And I'm an idea for that because God told me in prophecy, the time is coming. He says the whole world will hear you and obey you. He says they will hearken to your voice and they shall beg you and say use our land. Use all we have. Only allow us to live. That time is coming. He said I have raised you for the never before seen. The world will tremble. Angels will tremble. He says they will tremble. Creation will tremble. Hallelujah. I want to ask you a question. Are you ready to run with me? Yes, sir. Quickly, just something very, um, something different from this that we're doing right now. Book of Isaiah 48. Six and seven. Just want to do a recap. Want to read. Did 
Did you see that? It says they are created now. So that means they have never been before. They are created now. And not from the beginning. Are you getting that? They are created now. The message, if you can. Verse 7, if you have the message. Okay. I want you guys to read it for me. One, two, read. Please pause. He says, this isn't a variation or on the same old thing. It's not. It's not a variation of same old thing. This is new. Brand new. Something you did never guess or dream of. You can't dream it up. When you hear this, you won't be able to say, I knew that all along. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Are you still here? Okay. I said the, the, the big picture requires a family system headed by Jesus called a kingdom from heaven or the kingdom of heaven. Because that, that, that big picture will require the gathering together of children in Christ. Hallelujah. Are you still here? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I said, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. To be able to do this that God has called me to do, you will need to be dead. Otherwise, pride will kill you. Pride will kill you. That's the reason for that mentality. Because (laughs) what you are bigger than can be a reason to be proud. You You don't pride yourself in things you are bigger than. As a matter of fact, they will not be good enough to constitute your pride. So there is no room for pride. I don't, I don't know how to be proud. What would I get from it? What, of what use is pride? How? What is pride? If you are proud, there are some things you cannot do. You can't condescend to certain levels. I don't have levels. I don't care about levels. I don't. I do things that others would naturally not do. I do them. Those for whom this is prepared for, are hungry for more of these things so they can run with focus and not look back. If you came here wanting power to, to jump on you for me, for you to start your ministry, I'm sorry. That's not my vision. The miracles that happen here are not what I pray about. They just happen here. Because they will necessarily happen here. <laughs> because the king of Israel lives here. The Lord himself lives here. So miracles will happen. But you won't find me saying tonight, the miracle crusade, the power of God will hit you. You will walk. You will jump. You will run because this thing, your leg will straight. I'm talking to you and the miracle is happening because it just has to be normal. I just, what is this? Amen. Amen. But believe me, I will bring all of creation to his knees before the Lord. I will. I will bring every knee to bow before Jesus. I will do it by the Holy Ghost. Every knee will bow to Jesus. Every nation. And we wield the power never before seen that we command every knee to bow to the Lord. And I will also bow my knee to the Lord. And the Lord Jesus will be all. And then he or in turn will submit all to God that God may be all in all. So it's going to be 
helping and bringing in the billions to Jesus with himself nearly. And Jesus taking all together with all other, bringing it to the Father and himself submitting. And the Father himself shall be all in all. That's, you see why you have a list of things. I have one. That I may bring the whole earth to his name before the Lord. That's all. And are we? Are we? And what else could be greater than that? To see that billions now receive eternal life walking in the light of God's countenance. What more could I be looking for in life? But it will happen. Amen. Amen. The system demands the people. The big picture requires the system. So tonight, I won't talk more too much about the system. We'll read some few things about the system and move quickly to the people. We'll spend some time on the people. Quickly on your board. Daniel chapter 2, verse 31 to 45. I'm sure you know the background of this story about Nebuchadnezzar, how he had a dream of this image that was head of gold, neck and chest of silver, hands of iron, legs of brass, and then the tie and all of that of, of, of clay and of iron, and so forth, and that forth. And he woke up, he forgot about the dream, and then called his astrologers and sorcerers and said, I had a dream, I'm troubled by the dream, I came about the dream, tell me the dream, and tell me the meaning. <laughs> And they said, oh, king, live forever. No king has ever asked his people <laughs> to do this. We didn't sleep in your sleep. <laughs> How then shall we tell you your dream? And we said, oh, you are trying me. They said, oh, king, tell us the dream. We will tell it to me. He said, ah, you want to deceive me? I give you a few days. If you don't tell me, I'll kill all of you. And there was such an urgency. Daniel said, what's going on? Said, the king has asked for something strange. This is not a variation of the old. (laughs) He has asked us to tell him his dream and the meaning. We haven't heard it before. Daniel said, give me some days. And Daniel went to pray. And when he was done praying, the Lord showed him The Lord showed him Nebu's vision (laughs) and the meaning of Nebu's vision. (laughs) I I, I guess some of his wife will call him Kadiza (laughs) Kadiza. Nebu Nebu. (laughs) All right. And so then I got the meaning, and now this is, or these are the details of the vision and the meanings. I want you guys to look at something about God. Showing to a king a determination before the creation of the world and how the process will unfold because that's what the vision is about. So, ladies and gentlemen, join me as we read Nebu's story. <laughs> okay, read up. One, two, read. We're going to read to verse 45 and I want you guys to, to just breeze through it. One, two, read. Don't forget that we are still reading. The stone that smote the image became a great mountain and feed the whole earth. Okay, continue. One, two, three. In 
interpretation. Next verse. Hallelujah. Believe it on this screen. This was God showing the book of Nizar, the kingdoms of the world to come before the return of Jesus. Are you listening to me? And it says, For as much as thou saw that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and it break in pieces the iron, the clay, right? Let's put it properly. You have the gold, the silver, the brass, the iron, and the clay, right? Okay. Iron clay mist. Don't forget that. So the, the gold is the, um, the Babylonian. The silver is the Medopisia. The brass is the Grecian Empire. Grecian Empire. All right? That was the origin of democracy. The Grecian Empire. Hey there. The iron is the Roman Empire, which is the present system. Present system. Hey there. Then you have the iron and the clay mixed together. That's the, they call it the reformed Roman Empire. Reformed Roman Empire. The iron clay mixture. Reformed Roman Empire. Are you still here? Please, take note of this. It's important for a reason. Reform Roman Empire. It says they, they tried to miss with children of men. It didn't work. What's it telling you? Their system of government will try to promote all nations. Some nations will reject it. For example, it's not practiced in Saudi Arabia. So it said they tried to mingle, but it didn't, it didn't work because the clay and the iron don't mix. In, 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 in Iran, it's not practice. So you see iron clay. Are you seeing it? The iron tried, you find that the American government tried to infiltrate Iran, it's not working. Because they shall try to mingle, it cannot stand. Though they are trying to impose democracy in China, in North Korea, in Iran, in South and other nations, you find that it's not working. So democratic system of government is not practiced all over the world. Because the iron is the democratic system. Are you listening to me? We started from the Grecian Empire. But then, the gist of it is not even about that. It is that, it says in the day of these kingdoms, the God of them shall set up a kingdom. Remember, Jesus was born under the Roman leadership. You remember that? Jesus was born under the Roman leadership. Are you still here? To set up a kingdom. To set up a kingdom. A kingdom. What's that kingdom necessary for? 
to gather the harvest of the earth together under one head. The kingdom headed by Jesus is necessary to gather together the harvest of the earth under one leadership, under one family headed by Jesus. Please, there's a lot here, and I want to catch it. I want to catch it so that I can quickly move to the people because that's the focus. You are the focus, folks. And boy, it's going to be so beautiful. Beautiful to know. And why covenant was, why, we, why I had to make a covenant with God. To give God legality, the permission, justification to do things with us. Because many of you want to, some of you don't even know about the covenant I'm into with God. Why I offer every day. You just know your day is paid for why you don't know. But God said, gather unto me, my people, those who have entered into the covenant with by sacrifice. That's the reason for that sacrifice. Those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So you can make a covenant with God by sacrifice. And I made that covenant. But you know, it's important you think it very firmly before you start doing covenant. It's important God brings you into a covenant that you just jump into a covenant because of the implications of it. If God brings you into a covenant with himself, he enables you to, to walk in that covenant. If you make it with him, be ready to maintain it. Otherwise, you break a covenant. When you break a covenant, the consequence is death. The consequence of breaking a covenant is death. Glory to God. Montacaba, Hasondrigo, Lactido, Brogones, Telefaro, Sidi. Kriti kapone stemi yido obanak tequila. Isatonia primon peru firi hoshet la hoskele tata. Diorian cream is a tradigo paradigo sontri ido because das ostela entofagro ishka. Lactus em pemondri or a kriki pontri o dali gasisi. Dio fremotaino skri apagista on trimando. La cordi opera himi shudi apetase ti glamusiro oshkalediza. Live trons careful man through a gahaya. The name of the Lord Jesus. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Singing. Singing, 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 singing. For this that I am doing shall be sung in every nation. For I will raise a multitude of an army. In every nation by myself. And they shall sing these that you have announced to them. You will hear in Afghanistan. A nation of children have gathered. You will hear in Oman. A nation has gathered. And they are singing these that you have announced tonight. They will sing it. And sing it. And the elderly shall say. Tell them to be quiet like they did in the days of Jesus. But I shall say to them, for if these be quiet, God will raise up stones. For you will not have gone to preach before they gather unto you. For they shall gather to hear you. For they shall sing it. Sing it. We want to be partakers of this that God is doing without praying. Come tell us about it. They shall sing it in every nation. And there shall be a crowd of people singing it. And the old, when they can't stop it, will join with them. That the old may be like the young. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory! Glory! Hallelujah! Can I tell what God is saying? You will get a message from your office, in your office, and say, Mom, please, you are the person who could reach quickly. Over one million youths are gathered in Iran. They want to be part of what God is doing with Reverend. Sir, please, we need to let you know, say this. Go online, we go to YouTube, say, sir, look at it. Millions of youth in Saudi are carrying placards. They are saying we want European. And the elders will try to stop it. When they can't stop it, they will join it. For you will not need to go pre there first. Millions will gather in China. We want to be part of what God is doing with our prayer. 
For it shall not be by your outreach, but it shall be by my spirit, said the Lord. That's what he's telling us. He says, singing, singing, singing. That means they will sing it in every nation. We want to be part of what God is doing. We want to be part of it. Come and, in, come and effect this same system that you are effecting in this nation, in our nation. For they shall sing it. They shall sing it in Germany. They shall sing it in Sweden. They are singing in every nation. We want to be part of it. Why can't we be part of it? They will sing it, said the Lord. Our job will be to go and be heard over them and to be ready to follow and to submit themselves. Today, God has given birth to multitudes and multitudes of people to be partakers of the vision of the good land nation in every nation on the earth. Today, take note of it. Take note of it. Take note of it. Multitudes. It will not be by outreach. It will be by my spirit. Multitudes. Millions. We gather in Kuwait. Millions. And God will put in their heart a passion for this assignment. And not one will be stopped. Multitudes. That you may know it was not going to be by outreach. It was going by my spirit, said the Lord. I want to read something to you. Something beautiful to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh. Oh, boy. Second Samuel twenty two. Second Samuel chapter twenty two. From verse 20, from 44. To 51. I want to take note of, four, no, just, let's read three verses. 44 and 45. Oh my. Take note of those two and then we could read the rest of 51. Just beautiful. I want to read 45, 45 first, then I'll let you read the rest of them in just a moment. One, two, read. Next verse. I won't explain it to you. I will not explain it to you for a reason. Verse 50. <clears throat> okay. Just have it on your record. That's all. Just have it in your notes. I won't say more about that. Ah, Kumenta Baros. Colossians chapter 1. From verse 9 to 14. I want you guys to look at it. I said the, the big picture requires a family system, right? Where all, the, where the harvest of the earth shall be gathered unto the Lord and be headed by Jesus Christ. And it's called a kingdom from heaven. With Nebuchadnezzar so many years ago. Nebuchadnezzar. So I want you guys to look at it. Want to read. Now that you might be filled 
with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom. Knowledge of his will. What is his will? The will is the big picture. That's what I just showed you. His will is the big picture. We pray that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. His will is the big picture, which I read in Ephesians, which God proposed in himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Remember? He says, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Right? And what is that will? That which he proposed in himself. The big, so Paul said, when I heard it, he said, so for this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. In other words, I just don't want you to be born again and be ignorant of the big picture. That's what Paul is saying here. I don't want you to be born again and just be, I'm just be born again for born again's sake. You have to understand why you are saved, that your salvation was conceived before creation. And then you say, why was I conceived before creation? You were conceived in accordance with a purpose God had in mind, which is to have a family on earth and live with them. And live with them. In the new heaven, the new earth. Are you here? And what is the devil doing? Doing everything to stop that, that vision from becoming the reality. What is our job? That's what we get. We come on this scene. I will let you know our job. May not be tonight, people, but we have to know who we are. I said there are four requirements of being a God on earth. Why serve of being a God in all the realms? I already told you one out of the four, and I gave you the three that we can't have. Number one, I said is what? Having the God type of life. Number two, revelation knowledge. The ability to know things that are yet to happen. Knowledge that pierces the future. I will let you know about more about this. Revelation knowledge. Number three, wisdom. Number four, power. Right? What's number five? Omniscience. Number six, omnipotence. Number seven, omnipresence. You can't have those. So you may write, but you can never have them. You can never be omnipresent. You can never be omnipotent. You can never be omniscient. When you have those, then you can no longer answer to God. You now answer to each other. But you must be able to give life. Hallelujah. Say, ah, you mean this for, but never have taught us this thing before. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Let me tell you about them later. Let me tell you about them later. I want you guys to read this again. Um, Proverbs 9. One, two, read. Verse 10. Next verse. Next verse. Hey, are you seeing it? Who had delivered us? 
from the power of darkness. That is the authority of the devil who had delivered us from the authority of Satan. Brothers and sisters, we have been delivered from Adam's transgression. We have been set free from what gave Satan the right over us. If the devil is still having a free day in your life, it's because you do not know that you have been set free. That Satan no longer has a right over you. He said, but the Bible says, their sin is of the devil. He their sin is of the devil. Brothers and sisters, when you sin now as a child of God, to God you sin and not to Satan. Because Romans chapter 14 tells us, he said, who art thou that judges another man's servant? Of his master he stands. Of his master he falls. Yea, he shall be holding enough for God is able to make him stand. Oh my. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's verse 4. He says, Romans 4, 14, 4, just leave this on the screen. He says, who are thou, not verse 5, is verse 4. Who are thou that judges under my servant to his own master? Look at it. He says, to his own master, he standeth or falleth. You see, your master is not even looking for your fall. South says, stand, comes first. To his own master, he stands. So when you sin in Zion, to the Lord you sin. It's not Satan's business. Because you are not sin out of Zion. And what do you do when sin is Zion? If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. To forgive our sins and to cleanse us. When you sin, confess. If you sin, not when you sin. Because by God's design, we don't sin. He said, but if any man sins, not when. When will mean doing it at will. If will mean if it does happen. In the event it happens, that's if. When is as you like. So they say, as you like to sin and sin, there's forgiveness. And it says, if it does happen, you don't like it, but if it does happen, it's forgiveness. So don't say, ah, forgiveness, what about you now? <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to just sing some sin this morning. <laughs> and clean up with some, some level of forgiveness. Then tell, later, I'm going to sin and that's sin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And pick up and ask for forgiveness. A time will come where your confession will smell in the sight of God because you are doing it willingly, not as a temptation. All right, verse 13, everybody. But, but from verse 12 again, please. This is beautiful. Folks, I want us to lead. One, two, read. Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to the party of heaven and heaven and for this sense in life. Next verse. Who are delivered to the power of darkness? And has transmitted the kingdom. Hey, this is the kingdom I'm talking about. When it when he saved us, he delivered us, he translated us. I said the big picture requires what a system, a family system with headship to accommodate all of the harvest of the earth for accountability's sake. You have to be under a grace to be accountable. The big picture requires a system, a family system headed by Jesus Christ to gather the harvest of the earth. And what does he call that system? The kingdom from heaven. Look at it. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Are you still here? Into the kingdom of his dear son. Quickly. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness. Brothers and sisters, you have been delivered from the authority of Satan. You have been delivered. Satan no longer has a claim over your life. So if you are in bondage, find out what you, you probably did wrong. If you went out of Zion, repent of it and get back into Zion. Jesus said, though you are in this world, you are not of this world, for I have chosen you out of it. You have been separated from it. So don't get back in there. Who had delivered us from the power of the and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Now remember that this kingdom of his dear son is where we are now. Yes, sir. The kingdom of his dear son is an aspect of the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is interplanetary realm. It is heaven, earth, and beyond. 
But the kingdom of heaven is earthly. The kingdom headed by Jesus is, is earthly. It's of this earth. It's, it's, it's planetary. Why the kingdom of God is interplanetary. Do you understand that? So the kingdom of the dear son is a part of the entire kingdom. Do you get that? Gotcha. Okay. Who are delivered from power of darkness and are translated to the kingdom of his dear son. The next verse quickly. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Can you say amen? Yeah. Ephesians chapter 3, 14 to 16. Quickly. Ephesians 3, 14 to 16. Ephesians chapter 3, 14 to 16. I want you guys to read for me. One, two, read. Did you notice the family is not in plural? It's singular. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Named. So the family on earth is headed by Jesus. The family of heaven is already with the Father. But in the, in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he will gather all in Christ. And God shall be all over all. Are you still here? Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. I said that family was needed to fulfill the big picture. Right? The brothers and sisters, be it the big picture or the system, Without the people, they will both fail. Be the big picture or the system. Without the people, both will fail abysmally. Who fail so badly. Together. So the people are required, demanded, needed. To get it done. The people are so badly needed. And who are these people? They are those. Hello people. This is where we close this meeting. Who are these people? They are those who have born the image of the epi. And now they have received the life that is of God. For what purpose? That they may also bear the image of the heavenly. And be, and be as gods on earth. Because it will take them to be God to fulfill that big picture. It will take them to be God to be unstoppable. Because as, as the first aid them, they can be stopped again and again. But as the second aid them, they can't be stopped. If the first aid them could be stopped, what makes you think his descendant will not be stopped? So for that big picture to become a reality, God raised a people after the second Adam, the second, the, the second man, the last Adam. And who are they? They are the second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 people. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a novel creature. He is a new species. The Second Corinthians five seventeen people. Listen, they are not just humans. They are God's in human skin. They are God's in human skin. Not small letter G, please. It's capital letter G. They are God's in human skin or God's in skin. with the life of God. Revelation knowledge of God, wisdom of God, power of God. I have said ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the most high. What is it about these people?
please, please take your offering. Your first fruit, your tithe, and every, every oblation. Father, we thank you because we wave this to you in celebration of reality. Thank you because, Lord, we are living the reality of our expectations. Yes, we are fully equipped with abundance, with grace, with wisdom, with divine health and wholeness for advancing the kingdom of God and his culture, for actualizing the big picture. Tama, Salita, Abrokida, Abernastis. The least amongst us shall be as God. We bless you. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Are ready to give your offering? Okay, I'll show you your offering. And while the offering is going to cry, can you ring us a song? Ring us a song. after me right now. Oh Lord God, I believe that you love me and that you offered your son Jesus Christ in my stead who was offered for my offenses and was raised back to life for my justification. Today, I ask for the Lord Jesus to be my savior. I ask for the remission of sins of my soul. I ask for eternal life of my spirit. And by faith, I receive the remission of sins in my soul. I receive eternal life from my spirit. And I declare I am born again. I declare the life of God is coming to my spirit. I declare I now belong in the family of God. And so I ask you, Father, go and repeat after me. Come and place your mark of ownership on me by the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, today I become a member of the family of God. I ask for your presence into my life with the evidence of speaking in tongues. In Jesus' name, I'm born again. I have eternal life. And I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in Jesus' name. Amen. You pray that prayer, open your mouth right now and pray with me in the Spirit because you have just been baptized of the Holy Ghost right now. So how do I know? Psalms 81 verse 10, it says, open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. So the rest of you pray with me just in 60 seconds. Jesus, we thank you for your presence in the name of Jesus.
Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the spirit of dominion. The spirit of lordship. By the Holy Ghost. I trample. And crush to pieces. This day. All my worries. All my cares. All my sorrows. All my troubles. All my limitations. I declare. Where these are bounded. Grace. Did much more abound. By the abundance of your grace. I rule over them. From today, they shall no longer have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus, I subdue them. I rule over them. For as it is written, the Egyptians, you see today, you shall see them. No more. no more. I declare, I declare these, challenges, these challenges, these worries, these, these cares, these, these troubles that I see today in the name of Jesus, I shall see them no more. No more. Speak in other tongues. Go ahead. You have dominion over them by the Holy Ghost. Dominion over sin, dominion over poverty, dominion over fear, dominion over lack, dominion over anxiety, dominion over suicidal thought, dominion over senseless desires, dominion over fornication, dominion over immorality, dominion over infertility, dominion, dominion by the Holy Ghost, Lava Ponte, Lake of Santo, Luba Haya, Luba Haya. Montoko Boshaha, Lihabana Mintoko Bobo, Ira Baselemanto, Ira Boko Toboto, Ipa Yatata, Tonsa Emidaya, Tonsa Emidaya, Luhabaha, Luhabaha, Ziva Cambregizo, Rene Prate, Paris and the Game and Driga, Broke up with Gabri Salamin. If I die, so me and the Gaba, Julie Apodes, Jube Gamina, Missy for Reapataka, Zofia Tida, Zofia Tisa, Pale of Son Fredima, Scalpri Ostovino, Liga Prickis Devo Minda Christi, Vri Azomindo Opro Cabisa, Zaki da Ipro Cotogrisa La Mantri, Bisa Fatana, Bisa Fatana, Gure Conja, Ego Pela. Lord of Patagahi, Zayi Pacanino, Epicata, Ada Brococo, Allah de Pandrima, Allah de Bobo, Adibo Separatis, Corabada. We have the rule over them. Bless the God who has given us the victory. By the victory of Christ, I decree we crush the pieces. We have the rule, we have the dominion. We have the rule, the influence, the authority, the power over these limitations, over these troubles, these challenges. We look for them. We find them no more. By the Holy Ghost, through the abundance of grace, we subdue them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I would advise you. To hold a triumphant amen when I say that. In the name of Jesus. Oh, this is giving reality to expectations, to hard desires. So say after me, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask, I ask and, I and I receive 
I possess. I, possess. I, have, ownership I have ownership of these desires, of these, desires. Of these expectations. Of these Why, it Why it is called today. By the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. I, declare, I declare as it is written, as it is written all things, all things are, yours. are yours. Therefore, Therefore I take ownership of these, of these, of these. Today, today, I declare, I declare these, expectations these expectations have become, have become my, reality. my reality in Jesus' name. In Jesus. Speak another tongue. So to the lazy baby at the reed and the grass of a Maliko profes the ice gummet. Broke a pillar and a dollar of scoprito. You repent the best if a dog with a deal. Jump alive at the corn, a mean the glass of Billy Apollo, mean to a dive the days of days of open tanga. Become in the stoop of pet the devil. Look his eyes down at the mirror. But tag the back of me the cargo. Look round me in the pedigo. Love the city of the corner. In the mean go off the lee of the dog. Oh, jump me up the tail. Mock up the dog with the spear. Zero on the after, not simple the grassy, not the pepper deep as a bundle of my Mr. the party, got the bottom of the sour and the bottom of the beer. Don't study that, don't study the proper grave. Do the palapis, do the palapis, not the proper grave, and the other people put them up to them. Do the other tower, the other people put them up to them. Buy a you need the piece of the other people do. Buy a you need the other people, you need the other people. Many cup of sugar, the lack of some people, let less, who are people, never penal, in who are Peter Benamusatu, you get by in a mixer, who are daddy and the devil, you repeat, Montoku, Rabaka, Ali, you repent the craft, you repent the craft, you repent, for Jebidi, Buzika, Budiketu, Bilegro Kocha, Beronto, Zuzaha, be the fire, be the call, do recall, do recall. Rondo Boshi, Duli Kaka, Duze, Duli Kaka, Duli Denga, Billy Zifu, Juzi Patrick Konome, Dubri Dela, Rondo Dila Fadramo, Boko Dia, Dubra, Dubra, Longa Pedisato, Pitanga, Pika Pisa, Longa Pado, Dobro Kidia, Nobri Kasato, Rondo Dina, Konda Dabi, Sepedis Obrakan, Lopi Paras De. In the name of Jesus.